Hey guys, I'm Bredix39, and today I'm joined by... Osmatic, how's it going guys? Yeah, we started up another Superpower 2 Let's Play. Woo! This time as Bredix39 playing Zimbabwe, and Osmatic playing Botswana. Yeah. Now the aim yeah. of this is to, again, conquer the world, but this time from an African country, so it's going to be a little more difficult. But hopefully yeah. we can pull through. I'm hoping we can too, to be honest, because, <laughs> yeah, if you guys haven't seen the last thing we did of this, uh, we did USA and Russia, two massive superpowers, hence the name Superpower 2. This time we're going to try to turn these countries into superpowers, so we'll see how we go. It's going to be a lot harder than before. If you guys haven't seen the first series we did, check it out. Um, we'll have a link to it in the description. And yeah. Yeah. I don't think I can afford a military. That's... Yeah, mine didn't get approved anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I might... I don't, is it worth selling my military, even though it's pretty crap anyway? You know what? Just, just sell them. Just sell them. It's We can't exactly afford it. My population's only 1.5 million, and they use a shit ton of stuff. Yeah. Wow. My population is bigger than yours. I'm going to move my troops into Zimbabwe. Uh, why? Because I feel like it. <laughs> oh, damn it. To protect you okay. against no one, because no one is going to fight us, because we are going to probably struggle. Uh, I'm in yeah. $500 million debt. Why do my expenses keep going up? Don't know. Oh, they're going down now, my expenses. That's good. I don't know how I got from $1 million, $150 million profit to $150 million negative. But that expenses. happened somehow. Security. Uh, okay, I'm going to... Oh, I don't know if it's worth raising tax, to be honest. Because my people are like poor as hell anyway, so it won't do much. It'll just piss them off, which is not what I want. I need to find a way to get m more money because I'm struggling. I'm going to look at my resources and see what I can do. People. No, my people are poor as hell, man. My, my people won't do anything. I've 64% of my people are under the poverty line, which is yeah, very mine's bad. Increasing as well. And my average per capita, I'm pretty sure, is about. I'll go check. Uh, yes, I'm sure. Just for oh now. Oh, God. I think it went down. It's at 2,897 is my average per capita now. Yeah. So, sorry, but tax is going to go up. But it's not going to do much. Oh, no, it's not going to do much, though. It's pointless. It's just going to piss them off for no reason. And that's not what I want. Oh, my God. You are asked to join treaty. Economic aid. Holy C. Is this to do with you or someone else? Holy C. That's the papacy. Hey, the Vatican are offering to help me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Why are they doing that? I don't know. Because countries on side A pay for up to 10% of resource importations needed for side B. Why are they offering this to me? I don't know. Like <laughs> the Vatican, I will play, I'll take it, but that's people. awesome. Yeah. Well, this is what happens when we don't just randomly attack people from the start. They actually help us. Okay, so just, <laughs> just while you've been gone, we've managed to fix our economies, get the inflation down, um, get our per capita up, and fix um, fix everything, really. So now I'm in the surplus, which is great. And same yeah. with uh, Osmatic here. Yeah. Nice, uh, healthy economies of 9.6% and 32. Holy moly. But is that my one or your one? Your one. Oh, yeah, it is too. Um, but the main thing we did was um, we cancelled our treaties. So if you noticed before, it was 600,000. It was costing me, and now it's only 35. We also What's did this a for? For uh, the budget and expenses. Oh, yeah, true, so, true. Yeah. So that's helped a ton. Um, my corruption's also starting to go down. I've been able to afford it, um, getting rid of it, and it's really nice. Um, so we'll probably build up our economies a, a tad more, heal them a bit, and um, then we'll start be able killing. to start killing. <laughs> the nicest way I can put that. 
Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, because um, are we going to try to take South Africa first? Like, are we going to try to build up so we're ready to take South Africa and then just gang up on them? Or they are we going to destroy the earlier countries first and then go for South Africa? They are going to be a tough target to beat. they got a strong military. Well, we have what if it's like China, China and they just randomly attack us and we destroy them? Do you remember that? Um, yeah, but we weren't halfway between taking over the world and, you know, pretty much... We, we were ready for them. That's true. And this time we are not because we, we, our militaries are shite. They are terrible. We, all we have is your... That, that one army, whatever that is. Which army? My soldiers. Is that your soldiers? Yep. Just soldiers. Five thousand soldiers. Just infantry. There's an earthquake in um Peru. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Great reaction. Oh, there's an earthquake in around the Romania slash Serbia. Oh is this game this game has Serbia as so Serbia and Montenegro. Montenegro. Oh, you are asked to join the treaty, economic aid, Iran. Why are they offering to help me? Why does everyone hate me? Why does, does everyone, everyone hate me? They hate you or they do they hate me as well or just you? Just me. Why do I hate you? Apparently me and you are like a minus twelve, but I don't hate you really. Apparently we're only neutral, that's a bit rough. Oh, I'm neutral with like everyone. That's good. I don't have any enemies, don't have any friends. God damn it. I'm just a lone wolf right now. I reckon I'm a pretty good president, to be honest. Yeah. I've fixed I've fixed the economy. You know? Cool. And the next step is to exchange. Hmm. Oh, that's a shame. Well, they just had lots of elections apparently. Oh my god. You have been the target of a failed espionage attempt by Cameroon. Welcome to the party, mate. What does that mean? It means people hate you. I don't know why. Wait, is it this one? Cameroon, yeah. Like, the one of the only countries in the... What have you done? You used to be friends with everyone. Wait, was Wait what, what happened? What, what did I do? Yeah, I, I don't know. You literally used to be friends with everyone. What happened? How do I check um, what I did wrong? Dude, what's up with your treaties? No, they're... Are you talking about my treaties? Or are you yeah. looking at yours? Yours. What's up with mine? Um, freedom of demonstration. Go into your laws. And, uh, permit that. Hey guys, welcome back. Just fixed the mic issues with Osmatic and we should be good to go. Hopefully. Yeah. And for some reason, all these countries, well, by all these countries I mean two, have just starting to offer me treaties now, which is amazing. I'm not getting any offers. Rip. Not, not terrorism. Damn it. <laughs> Do the country, the country offer to terrorize you or something? No, countries have been terrorizing me. Oh god, Cameroon did something for me. Like, get against me, sorry. Oh, there's a fight going up there. Who's fighting? Syria and Israel are in a massive fight right now. Oh, damn. That's awesome. My money is on... Oh. Oh. Israel for sure. I mean, it's not Israel, bloody Syria for sure. No, nah, Israel. No, nah, not chance. Oh, wait, yeah, I just realized I'm looking at just one battle, but Israel had lots more stuff. There we go. Here come Israel to the fight. Yeah, okay, Israel stand. Oh, actually, nah, I've still got my money in Syria, to be honest. Syria hasn't even brought their entire army in. Not yeah, exactly. Israel's got this. Why has Israel got that? It's got a slightly bigger army. No, they don't. Are, you look are we looking at the same battle? Well, they will have. Wait, which battle are you looking at? The only one. Yeah. Look at, look at Syria's troops. Look at Syria's ground forces. They're yeah. just a little bit less. Good. And then their air. Syria has more air, and they're starting to destroy them. True. Yeah. I've still got... Oh, wow. Okay, Israel just did something, right? Because they are, are ahead in the air battle now. Jesus Christ. What went wrong? for Syria. That is some seriously bad managing of your air force. No comment. <laughs> oh, you know what? Why countries might slightly hate us? 
Why? Because we are military dictatorships. Ah, should we? Is it worth worth risking that? Or no, nah, probably not. Well, I reckon you'd you'd get you kicked could. out. But yeah. I could hold myself. You could I reckon. Hold. I Should I change to a multi-party it. democracy? Yes. All right. Wish me luck. I literally cannot afford anything else. Oh man, I'm nervous. The next election is in 2007. Is there a way I can, like, see the other candidates and, like, assassinate them or something? <laughs> no, you just have to make your people happy. Oh. Well, right now I'm doing a pretty good job of that. Yeah, see, look, everyone's happy with you now. Really? Yeah, look. Look at the map. Diplomatic relations. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's a lot better than before. Yeah. Anyway, while well, you've been gone... I don't know what I did, but my balance has just dropped. <laughs> I saw that right when you were saying that. I was getting ready for you to like notice that. It just dropped heaps. Just oh then. God. Why? Jesus, what did you do? I did nothing. So for those of you who are thinking right now, like, what the hell is going on? Um, Just before Brad started recording, he was in, I think, his balance was over $300 million. And he was going very, very good... All of a sudden, bang. Not great for him. God, I, I don't even know what's going on, man. It's just <laughs> fluctuating so much. Jeez. Jeez, I'm a very good prime minister and economic person. But not, probably not a very good war master, or whatever you call it. General, very <laughs> good master. military man. <laughs> I could not think of the word for the life of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Let's check my... Oh, okay, I've got a message. You were asked to join the treaty. Noble cause, Andorra. What? Hmm. Lucky. Is that good, I'm guessing? Oh, yeah. Very good. Very good. All right. I mean... Dude, hopefully... Why did, why did you actually do that? that? That was a horrible idea. And why was that a horrible idea? Back up your point. Um, you lose money. Do I actually? Yeah. How much money? Oh, not much. Mostly because you got so much anyway. That's hmm. true. I can afford it. Yeah, my income keeps going up though. I don't know why why it's going up, but I want to find out so I can make it go up even more. Yeah, your income, man. Where, how do I find out where I'm getting all this money from? Um, is it pretty much all from tax? And from, if it is, then why does everyone love me? From resources. Probably. But in resources, I produce a lot less than I consume. So I'm like making a loss for lots of no, those things. Okay. Like my balance for all this stuff, none of them, in, none of it is in the positives. I'm going to check it yours, actually. Wait, will it let me see yours? My what? Well, your resources. Mm, oh, it does. It does? All right. Yep. Oh, okay. My resources are pretty similar to yours. So, in terms of like the balance, in terms of all being in negative, that's yeah. in common pretty much. <laughs> it's not like super heaps. It's like billions, but still, that is a lot for a country that, like my country, is. You know, we we become a from a million dollar, hundred million dollar country to a billion dollar country, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I just realized we have like less money than, like, the richest people in the world, which is pretty bad. <laughs> if you I think about it that way, they could just it. buy us, the whole country, the, the whole, whole country. million of us, turn us into slaves, even the Prime Minister. Whoa! Oh, wow. Have you seen what's going on in, um, near China, just under it? China's making money. Ooh. No, they're fighting Iran. Iran. Yeah. That's Damn. risky. Iran wants out. Of what? The war. Wow, oh. everyone hates China. Good. <laughs> Now's our chance to attack China, actually. We could. We actually We'd probably could. get destroyed. Would everyone help us, though? Because they hate China anyway. Because yeah. look at how corrupt China is. Jesus. 86.5. Oh my god. Five. They will never get rid of that. My corruption is so low that I can't even combine with China for 100% corruption. That's how you know you've got a really stable country. Or not really, because stability is stable.
Actually, <laughs> most countries have a really high corruption. Oh my god, Sudan has 88.9. Whoa, why is everyone so corrupt? 89.7 there. No is it just in Africa that's corrupt? No, there's a lot of... Whoa. Whoa, 92.2. I want to find a 100. That's a challenge I'm giving to you. If you can find a 100%... 100% corruption country. Let me know. Australia's... I'm even lower corruption than Australia. Oh my god, New Zealand is 0 0.1 corruption. That's probably... They're wow. just doing their own thing, you know what I'm saying? They're just grinding. Pakistan Good on you, New Zealand. Corrupt. Fiji? Is that Fiji? It looks like it. Yeah, that's Fiji. Fiji is surprisingly quite corrupt. Huh. Wow. The USA is not very corrupt at all. 0 0.7. Oh my god, they're very stable as well. Yeah. Every time I look insane. at I, every time I look at the USA and Russia, I just think of like the last series. I like, get immersed and think, oh, that's us. But no, it's actually not this time. It's kind of like you're looking at yourself. Like it's like you know how like if you if you saw yourself from someone else's eyes in real life, it'd be like the weirdest experience. This is pretty much that right now. Looking at USA and Russia, it's like, <laughs> is that me? No, it's not me. It's someone else, and that just boggles my mind. I feel if we go to war, we will get crushed. I, yeah, I feel like my economy, even though it's, like, going up, I feel like I should, like, looking at all the costs of these things, I'm thinking I cannot afford an army that can, like, dominate yet. Yeah. I feel like we should try to become economic superpowers before we become military superpowers. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. Because, like, at the moment, I'm looking at, like, Say for like a, a few, like about 20 of these fighter jets, it's going to put me $700 million down. And the upkeep of them is probably huge as well. And I've only got $4.7 billion available in the bank. Wow. And if, my, like, say the army gets destroyed by someone with like a thousand uh, air things, that will not be good no. for Osmatic and Braddock 79 in their journey to become the African heroes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Such a anticlimactic. Yeah. What did what What did you want me to say after I, that? I, I don't know, man. It's all just, all that build up. I had too much pressure, and I crumbled at the end of that. Okay. That's all right. I classed it as low. If we had seventeen percent tax here in Australia, that would be great. Although we'd probably be very poor people. Probably. Because the government would do something dodgy. Although I can't say that because if they watch this video, which I probably will, <laughs> they will, yeah, if, if you just say, if you don't see a few videos from me in a few weeks, you'll know what ha has happened to me. Wait, what? What? The following country was a victim of nuclear attack. The rebels. Where are Advisor we? warning military. Yeah. The victim, the rebels. Did we just miss someone getting nuked? Yeah, the rebels. Aren't they in um Europe ish? Like um, what's no, it no, called? No, no. The, yeah, the they're in the Middle East. The Met Re rebels are in Middle East. Yeah, what is is Middle East class as Asia? I'm guessing. Middle East. Yeah. Uh, yes. I always get mixed up between the Middle East being Europe and Asia, because I think Asia, but then I think, oh, they're pretty close to Europe as well. Mm. But yeah, Who that's just me. that nuke, though? I have no idea, and it's not telling us. That's Nuclear like the mystery. Strength. I'm just going to look at North Korea. Like, North Korea, if you watch this, I'm sorry. Um, I'm not doing this in an offensive way. I'm doing this because I respect you, and I am very scared of what you're capable of. But I doubt it was them, to okay, be honest. You know what? I know a way of finding out. Okay. I'll go into diplomatic. I think it was China. Oh, I, it should, it sh surely was. No, it definitely was China. Because they're the only ones who, like, um, have nukes and absolutely hate... Well, frankly, they hate everyone, but... <laughs> yeah. why. Yeah, it, it actually is a war. China versus the rebels. Well, I wonder who's going to win that one. Should we team up with the rebels and then defeat China? We don't have a military. We don't have yeah. access to the sea. But you know what we do have? We have heart.
and a ton of potential to you know be what? the best. That's probably absolutely worthless. You know, just, just rethink your... Just rethink everything. God damn it. <laughs> BRB, gonna go rethink. And I just said BRB in real life. God damn it. Yeah. And on that note, that's all the time we have for today. Yes, yeah, so BRB, guys. <laughs> BRB. Next episode coming soon. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, consider leaving a like, because, man, we live off those. Like, without them, we're nothing. That is actually very, very true. Yeah, so... And if you don't believe that, did I, that, we, we, that sounds so sarcastic, but it's actually true. Yeah, like, we eat them for breakfast, lunch, yeah. and... and for, and dinner. Breakfast, yeah. lunch, and dinner. With likes, you are a winner. If you do not like this video, then you are a sinner. But if you like this video, then you are a grinner. Okay, please stop. Remember when you used to eat sardines for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> Turn into Biggie. <laughs> Alright, hope to see you all next time, guys. And as always, we'll see ya.